Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to go over the different pieces of armor that allow you to stay underwater longer, as well as a few changes right here at the edge of the pond. Uh, in a previous video I did building a boathouse. That's that little building over there. I since moved everything out of it onto my aircraft carrier. This bigger, much, much bigger base next to it. So, as you can see, my boathouse um, well, if you built right here, unfortunately, this rock got moved. So you're kind of SOL. So it goes right through the building. And most most of that space was empty. And you see my giant uh, koi fish is right here next to my, my ship. We call him Kevin in my stream. Anyway, you have the new, the new uh, buoyant foundation, which that one is heavily damaged. I'm not sure why, but I'll fix it. As well as the ability to put stairs down into the water for ease of getting out. I have one in each set. Oh yeah, Kevin growls. Alright, anyway, back to the actual point of the story uh, video. At the top of the screen, you'll notice that instead of it just being a blue O2 bar, it actually has a time. So right now, 40 seconds is max. I have nothing on. This is the base 40 seconds is the base, no armor, and not the special mutation yet, Martine. Putting on Martine, just Martine, I'll go from 40 seconds to 45 seconds. So, that's a decent little increase, and it gets uh, better and better. One thing I do need to go grab out of, the, out of here real quick, because I want to show one more thing as well. Liquid Gills does not work the way it used to. Liquid Gills does not allow you to breathe underwater. It adds more time to the the timer at the top of the screen for how long you can stay underwater, but not indefinitely breathe underwater. So, 45 seconds with Martine. We'll get to the armor in just a second. So, now I took Martine off, so I should be at 40 seconds. With Liquid Gills, I'm at 50. So I get an extra 10 seconds. Now I'm going to go in and put that mutation back on. Which I'll go with that mutation here in a little bit. I'm at 56 seconds. Now, I'm going to read that mutation while I wait for this. Uh, while I wait for this to wear off. The, the smoothie. The push and pull of thick, rich pond water uh, coaxes your gummy little body into becoming a part of this world. Your primeval skin begin beings to utilize an electrochemical gradient that repels your limbs like mighty fl uh, flagella and aids in respiration. So you swim faster and you can stay in the water a little bit longer. And I'm pretty sure that was supposed to say your permeable skin begins to utilize. So still waiting on that smoother to run out but that's my koi fish if i get too close to him he uh, moves around his tail goes through my ship i can take out my spear if i wanted to and poke him doesn't do any good though doesn't do anything let's go to the other end of the boat where there's another set of stairs i'll play down here and you see that's the underside of the floating or the buoyant foundation. The top looks great. The bottom, mm, not so much. It's me. Anyway. All right, I just keep um, checking to make sure to see when the liquid gills is worn off or not. I know it takes two minutes. I'm just being impatient. I should want to duck under. Go back to 45. There we go. So it's it's wore off. Now. We're at, with, I'll take the Martine back off again. And I'm actually going to hotkey these down here in the bottom in one and two. So we're at 40 seconds. Put on the gill tube. We go to 80 seconds. So we double our time. Now we switch to the bubble helmet. We go to 160 seconds. 
so we quadruple our time now with that on take the armor back off again just to show with Martine we're at 45 seconds with the guild tube and Martine we're up to 90 89 90 same thing with the bubble helmet we go in we're at 179 178 so basically three minutes now with a liquid gills turned on for maximum amount of time underwater is 223 seconds which you do your math it's well over three minutes almost four switching back to the gill tube and you get 111 seconds 112 yeah 112 so obviously this is going to you know, the bubble helmet is going to be the best it's your tier two you have you get the veteran diver on both of them but the gill tube is your tier one you're going to have your best uh, underwater time with the bubble helmet which to craft a bubble helmet which I have in a different video it's under workbench gear scroll all the way down there's koi armor which does not help with swimming then you have your fin flops which I highly recommend if you're ever if you're gonna play in the pond get these fin flops done uh, pronto then which takes four of the water boatman fin two eelgrass strands and two of the lily pad wax then your bubble helmet is four eelgrass strand five sunken bone which is found underneath the pond lab I have that in another video and four silk rope to make this helmet and then your your guild too which you are gonna want to make that before you even try to get to the pond lab it makes things a lot easier is two lily pad wax four eelgrass strands and two silk rope and those can be made pretty simple because all you got to do is to unlock this recipe analyze eelgrass to unlock this recipe uh, analyze sunken bone to unlock this one analyze uh, the, the water boatman fin I didn't think of what it was called it's right in front of me also too you will also when you start analyzing stuff you'll unlock things such as the bone dagger the bone trident which is way more damage than the regular spear and of course the underwater light that glows non-stop so with the bone helmet on bubble helmet not bone helmet bubble helmet you can literally explore down here all day long because all you do is get close to this you know breathe the air and you're good to go oh yeah it helps if I put my spear back like I have time to stop and re-equip my stuff. Go at the spider. You see he's underwater spider shit hard. Very hard. Now if I block, you know, I wouldn't take as much damage, obviously. So if you can time your blocks right. Um, I guess that's where the coil armor comes in. You, you block that thing yeah, just right and uh, you take little to no damage. I don't do a whole lot of blocking when I'm fighting though. Alright. So, I just want to go over the, the, the new armor that helps you with being able to explore the pond. I am going to go swim to the far end now. Actually, no, that'd be another video. So, that's just that's your uh, your two basic pieces of armor. You're going to want the the guild tube in order to be able to get down to the pond lab easier. Once you're at, down to the pond lab, you'll find those sunken bones on the ground underneath it. You know, submerged, obviously. Get a whole bunch of uh, the the, uh, the bones. You're going to want at least eight five for the bubble helmet and three for the spear and if you can find a few extra you know find two extra if you can get the 10 you've got plenty but that's the just a kind of quick rundown of just the new armor that's in the game for playing in the water but if you guys want to see more more uh content like this i stream every day on twitch my link will be in the description below you can stop by you know say hi ask me kind of questions we can talk about the game um but until the next video, y'all have a good one.